Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Tecluno.com and in this video we're going to have a look at the Rapu M100 Silent Multi-Mode Wireless Mouse. So, let's get started. Okay, so now we've got the second mouse from the Rapu company, a company which focuses on computer accessories and external devices. And to be fair, this is a similar mouse with the previous time we have reviewed the MT550, but this is a more affordable and simpler mouse which misses some secondary options from the MT550. In one sentence, this is an affordable quiet mouse which can connect into multiple devices. This time I got three different colors of this mouse in black, white and red, while it's also available in turquoise, pink and blue. Please keep in mind that normally the red and the white mouse are packed in a box which shows the equivalent mouse color on top. In this case, the three mice are samples and hence all the boxes are showing a black mouse on the top. So let's unbox them one by one. First we have the black version and as you can see the mouse is made out of plastic. The plastic material used to build the buttons is slightly different but unfortunately is very easy to obtain scratches. So please be careful because scratches can be relatively more visible on the black mouse. Of course each mouse comes with a battery and a user guide as well. Moving to the red mouse. Now one small difference you may notice on the red mouse is that its scroll wheel is actually black and not red. And accidentally the battery was left inside the mouse. Finally moving to the last mouse, the white one. This is more like a light grey rather than white and as you can see the scroll wheel is grey as well. Putting all the mouses side by side, let's have a look on all of them at the same time. And as you can see on the bottom of each mouse, all of them have one switch and one Bluetooth button which change from one device to another. We're going to have a look on how to set up one of these mouses later on. Now as you can see side view as well. Now one thing I would like to mention about the top view, I mean the surface of the mouse where the buttons are located, is that it's very easy to obtain scratches. And unfortunately scratches are permanent, so that means that it will be very easy to rub them off. So please avoid storing the mouse where there are other sharp objects or cables or any other possible object which has the potential to scratch the surface. Of course we can't go anywhere without measuring on how quiet the clicks of this mouse are. So let's see on how quiet they actually are. Of course only the scroll wheel has the traditional sound when you click on it, but the left and the right buttons of the mouse are very quiet. Now usually with wireless mice you get a USB receiver which you plug into your computer in order to connect the mouse. But once you initialize the connection with a computer then the receiver is no longer needed. Of course you can connect to Bluetooth 2.4, 3.0 and 4.0G and also can smartly switch between of those connections. And of course it makes it a lot more convenient for you. Speaking of battery life, the quiet mouse comes with an impressive up to 9 months of battery life. But this can definitely vary for a very large amount of time, especially if you're a heavy user and you use your computer a lot, the battery will definitely die a lot sooner. The mouse accepts AA batteries. Thanks to its 1300 dots per inch tracking engine, the mouse is going to be very responsive while you move it around your screen. Please note that moving the mouse around on a glossy surface can cause some glitches and delays and that's a very common effect on mice with optical sensor. So definitely make sure the surface is rough, such as wood, or you have a trackpad. The Rapper mouse can connect up to three different devices that can be different computers as long as these computers and laptops have Bluetooth connection available. Furthermore, you can also connect your tablet if it accepts a mouse connection. Now let's have a look on how to set up this mouse and how to switch between devices. The idea is to connect the mouse to one computer and then press on the Bluetooth button to connect on the other two computers and switch between those devices by pressing on the Bluetooth button on the bottom. Now let's see it in action. So first grab the USB receiver and connect it to the computer. It can either be Mac or Windows. And next grab the mouse and switch the on off switch. And then that's the first Bluetooth connection. Now to connect to the second device, Grab the mouse and then press on the Bluetooth button on the bottom in order to change the Bluetooth connection into the second channel. Also please keep in mind that when you switch to a new channel, you need to hold down the Bluetooth button until the LED red flashlight slows down. Now as the second device, go to settings and find where the Bluetooth settings are. Turn on Bluetooth and then you should locate the mouse under the name of Rappo BT 3.0 mouse. Connect to it and once you see a message that the mouse is connected, then you're ready to go ahead and use it. A last device to connect, again press on the Bluetooth button on the back of the mouse to switch to channel 3. 
remember to hold down the Bluetooth button for around 3 to 4 seconds in order to enable Bluetooth connection on the new channel and connect to the third device. Once the business with the mouse is done, then navigate to the third device and again go to settings and find Bluetooth settings, enable Bluetooth, and you should find the mouse under the name of Rapu BT 3.0 mouse. Connect to it and again once you receive the signal that the mouse is connected, then you're again ready to navigate through the device. Of course the business doesn't end here, to switch back to the first device, just press the Bluetooth button and then the mouse will be automatically connected to the first device, press second time to connect to the second device and one last time in order to connect to the third device. Keep in mind that this works as a loop, so if you're for example on the second device and you want to go back to the first device, you need to press the button two times, first time goes to the third device and second goes to the first device. And last thing you guys have been waiting for, the price is only £10, yes, is that cheap? For a mouse which does all of these things. And you can find it in multiple retailers, so for example here in the UK you can find it in Carries and Argos and also of course it's available on Amazon UK and Amazon.com. And now is your turn, what was your favorite feature of this mouse? Don't forget to let me down in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you're a new visitor don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to receive notification for every video we upload. And finally don't forget to find us on www.technology.com where where you can find tech news, blog posts, tutorials and more. And of course we run a forum where you can go and post your question or discussion thread and someone will definitely go ahead and answer, including me as well. And that being said, thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.